Welcome back, friends and family, gnomes and goblins, peoples of the world. Welcome back to Little Big Workshop. That's right, my name of course is Obed Potato. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we'd just, uh, just set up to get rid of all of the skis and all of the tables that we have made, uh, which puts us in a lovely, lovely position and allows us to pick up a bunch of new contracts. That is the special contract for Swikea, and uh, I didn't even realize it. Okay, well, I am absolutely going to be taking advantage of the special contract, like, immediately. Uh, why, why wouldn't I? That would be ridiculous to countenance anything different. Uh, we're a little bit low on strength, so let me pop this up to that right there. Grand, do that. Okay. Perfect. So that should just allow us... That should just allow us to make the best type of chair for the cheapest amount of money. And it doesn't actually look like there are many super complex processes to be uh to be undergone over here the the real challenge with this with this massive order is gonna be you know scale rather than rather than uh rather than the sheer amount of different processes that need to be undergone it's just that we need to make sure that everything is done reasonably quickly and there's a heck of a lot of stuff to do so uh let's get all of it queued up metal extrusion yep Right there, or that's actually, that's, a, that's the form press, the metal forming, but that's fine. Uh, and then let's go back down here, right over there. Assembly, uh, do we want to batch produce this? Yes, I think we do want to batch produce this. And then, let's go. Let's go. Okay, video game consoles, we cannot deliver these yet, as we are still waiting for the market to refresh. We did such a darn good job of supplying the market with video game consoles that we don't need to worry about that. Um, I do have the opportunity to pick up another bit of research, which makes me think that maybe I do want to do that. But I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure. I think I actually want to save my points. I want to save my points and get the next delivery bay. Because, or the next loading bay, should I say? Because at the moment, one loading bay just is not enough. I think we're actually at a point where we're producing stuff so consistently well that it, it all seems to be working just fantastically. Okay, we, we've ordered two more shelves. See, that was three. That was three trucks that were waiting there. That were waiting to... That were waiting to, to get access to the delivery area. Which is a little bit... A little bit ridiculous. And we've wasted already, like, half a day before the deliveries for the chair even begin. Okay, but finally, that's starting, which is grand. Uh, we do have the... Associate delay functionality. However, that's not unfortunately something that I have access to now uh, But I think that we should be totally fine Okay, I mean we could take on another contract at the moment But I'm not really certain if I want to do that given the circumstances Obviously, it's really quite important that we get uh, that we get this contract done simultaneously saturate the market for two medium or advanced products I mean that is not difficult to do really that's not comparatively difficult to do a scooter engine what do we need to get a scooter engine? Metal production 3? Metal production 3, definitely possible. Kitchen multi-tool, probably not possible. What's the lowest... The lowest number of units that we can supply? Man, there are a lot of... A lot of things to be getting on with. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... A lot of demand in the market right now. Yeah, very, very interesting, actually. Okay, well, let's set up to make this kitchen multi-tool, mostly because I haven't had the haven't had the opportunity to make make one before. There we go. Get this all set up. Nice. Uh, styles a little bit off. That's fine. Okay, I mean that looks not too that looks not too shabby. The maximum amount of kitchen multi-tools that the market can support is thirty-five, and that is going to increase, unfortunately. However, it does look like a fairly easy process, just a bunch of molding to be done and then a bunch of a bunch of plastic injection to be done, both of which we have in fairly large quantities. The machines to do to do just those jobs we have in fairly large quantities, so I'll take that. Uh, obviously, this is not going to take precedence over the very very important job of finishing the big contract because that's going to be 100 and something thousand bucks. Uh, but we'll we'll I don't know, set ourselves 40. 40 kitchen multi-tools. That seems entirely reasonable. 
sure. And what do we need to do in order to hit gold? 50 advanced products? Okay. That is gonna be that is gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. I did say that I wanted to get the cat mech up and running. Although I think we might have missed the boat on the cat mech, and instead maybe we need to shoot for the king barbecue. Yeah, we'll think about that. We'll think about that for sure. But for now, getting the getting the chairs done is probably my priority. It's definitely pretty important. Uh, what are client relations looking like? I mean, Swikea obviously maxed out. Mitsurula, we need to get metal production three. Inco Inc. we haven't started with yet. But we will. We absolutely will. We're gonna need a robot assembly room. Which I need to I need to think about where we actually do that. To be honest, probably over here again. Somewhere in the middle. Somewhere that is reasonably accessed by you know, workers working in the metal room. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. I think that seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll take a we'll take a judgment after we're done with the the big old the big old Bengit model. Yeah, perfect. Uh oh, that exploded. That's actually quite an important station. Yeah, queue up a repair. I didn't realize that things were things were that bad. Right, get the gluing station repaired as well. That could present a little bit of a roadblock because we do have a lot of stuff to sew. Yeah, we got a heck of a lot of stuff to sew. All right, well, here's hoping that that doesn't torpedo our chances of completing the contract. If it does, whatever. If it doesn't, I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's that. We need to buy two more plots, as I've already talked about a lot. We need to unlock this plot. We're going to need to unlock this plot as well. Should we unlock this plot now? I kind of want to, honestly. I kind of want to. I mean, there's no point in doing it right now, because if we do it right now, then that's just money down the drain. And I do kind of want to keep a little bit more cash to hand, uh, as you'll probably have noticed over the last wee while. I've, I've, uh, I've tried to maintain a healthy, a healthy account balance, and for the most part, that seems to be working. It just means that we don't run out halfway, halfway through, halfway through a particular project. How are we doing over here? Uh, we're now onto the kitchen multi-tool. Wowzers. Okay, and we batch produced that. Okay, I shouldn't have batch produced that. There is no reason to, no reason to batch produce that at all. Okay, we're almost done with sewing. Nice challenges, more challenges. Obviously, working on the special contract, King Barbecue. That's that's going to be something that I want to start manufacturing in very very large quantities because it's it's an advanced product as well. So if we can set up a, a good a good process for the King Barbecue, then um, I think we'll be just golden. All right, what else have we got? What else have we got that needs to be done? We've got the metal extrusion. I mean, says that we're almost done with the metal extrusion. Actually, that's a total lie. What's going on? Oh, I had passed one of one of your subsidiaries. Okay, wonderful. I'm very happy about that. Okay, metal bender. Yeah, let's get another metal bender, in fact. Yeah, give me a metal bender. Let's put it over here. And let's put that over here as well. Let's get this moved around a little bit. There we go. And this can now hopefully fit reasonably well into the corner. Yeah, that looks perfect. You get that moved. And get that moved. Grand. Okay. And then link up to that as well. Okay, great. So that should theoretically mean that we're able to make just a little bit more progress with the with the metal bending. Should happen slightly faster because I think that that is going to be that is going to be where the delay is. So hopefully I'm I'm going to head that off at the pass, and then it can all just be assembled relatively easily. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. That looks like that looks like the only the only thing that remains to be sorted. And now that we've got two metal bending machines, then we should be totally grand. Let's get that repaired. Yeah, this is this is feeling this is feeling good. It's not feeling as good as it could be on account of I have a little bit of an issue over here. Let me get this moved. There we go, and then let's stick in a zone right there. So that should allow for a little bit of storage nearby the two metal benders. 
which should mean slightly less commuting. Only, only a tiny bit less commuting though. A pack of smelly rats. Okay, it is the worst. It is the worst mission. Eighteen flipping rats. When it rains, it pours, eh? Right. Why are we still? Why are we still waiting with this thing in the driveway? A machine exploded. Okay, that's not an important machine. That's a. Uh, that's a machine that can afford to wait. Oh, we got the cannon. Great. Oh. Oh, that was a great shot. I must say, one of my finest accomplishments. Nice. Okay, that's 10 already down. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, don't know if we're going to be able to reach. Uh, yes. I think theoretically the rat should run within the range of my cannon from time to time. Don't fact check me on that though. Because these guys look like they are ever so slightly out with my firing range. Okay. Sure. Move over there. Grant. Okay, we are behind on the we are behind on the Bengit model. And are we behind due to metal bending by any chance? We are behind you to metal bending. Okay. Let's put you on overdrive. Let's put you on overdrive as well. The repair is in progress, as we know. There we go. 15. Oh. There we go. Okay. Two more. One more. Where is the last rat? I have no idea. Have I seen it before? Oh, it's down here. Alright, well this is going to be a little bit of a pain to deal with, but that's fine. We can get that moved across there. Hopefully no more rats spawn in. Because they do... They do breed like crazy. Okay, one, one more has spawned in. That's quite irritating. Somebody set it up, please. Somebody set the machine up. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. Okay, one more. Oh, no, there's now there's three more that have spawned in. Just my luck. Okay. And now they are completely out of my range. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is a tough gig. Alright, to increase my motivation... Sell off those, sell off those game consoles. I can't even, I can't even shoot now, that's fine. Okay, fine. Are we metal bending? Are we metal bending at the speed of light now? I certainly hope so. We should be almost done with this metal bending. We've got 20 more things to metal bend. Goodness gracious me. Nice. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, nowhere near here apparently. Nice. Okay, move you over there. Great. Quickly please. I know we've got loads and loads of people that are not doing anything at the moment. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Fast forwarding. Okay, they're both within range for the first time, like, forever. Nice. Okay, one more. Oh, no, don't run over there, Ratty McRat. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I thought I was going to get driven up the wall by those rats. They are really, really irritating. Okay, 15 metal rods to go. We're very, very close. The chairs should be assembled reasonably soon. I mean, it looks like we're slightly behind schedule, but... I mean, that is a little bit of an exaggeration. I don't think we're that far behind schedule. I think we'll be just fine. Okay, let me get that repaired. Cool. I can always order something in if I really want to... If I really want to ensure that I get the contract done. I think I probably will do that if I need to. Although I am reasonably hopeful that I won't need to do that. 
Come on. Come on, chaps. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Four hours to go. We'll order in a new contract, I guess. We'll order in King Barbecue. I did, I did want to get the King Barbecue contract sorted. So we will do that if we need to. We've got four chairs left to go. Okay, let's get a King Barbecue contract in. Um, yep, let's 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 get it created. I don't think I've actually made a King Barbecue quite yet. Sure, cup holder. Great. Yeah, strength, style. What's the most stylish here? Sure. Uh, yep. Slightly more stylish. Oh my lordy, this is crazy. Okay, yep. Yep. And, yep. And then what's the most stylish over here? A wooden handle? Okay, I mean, this looks kind of garbage, but... I guess it'll work. Should work anyway. Okay, and that's pretty much everything, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, this is this is more wood than metal, which I'm just guessing isn't a great quality for a barbecue. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Who knows? Maybe wood barbecues are actually a smash hit best seller. Maybe they cook maybe they cook meat and vegetables to a sufficiently high standard that uh, my concern is completely unwarranted. However, I would always, I would always be slightly concerned that the barbecue would indeed catch fire, um, because wood is of course flammable, or can be flammable, and in this case, it's exposed to pretty high heats. So one has to imagine, it's a risk. Right, don't really know why, don't really know why I feel the need to so, uh, so passionately defend metal barbecues there, but there we go. Okay, let's get that executed. Let's get that ordered. Let's get a King Barbecue into uh, into the plan. Okay. So let's reduce the number of workers that we have working here. Let's reduce it down to two. To help unload the stuff. So we can maybe delay the chair production by just a little bit. There we go. Come on, one chair left. One chair left. Two chairs left even. Where are the chairs being made? Where are they being made? Here. They need a few more cushions? Where are the cushions? Are they still being... No, they're not being worked on. Why are we not making the chairs? Right, one chair was made. Okay, we're still unloading the... We're still unloading the previous... The previous thingy. What's this? The trucker is stressed? I mean, that's kind of what I'm banking on, to be honest. Okay, 23 out of 24. 24 out of 24. Fantastic! Okay, great. Let's up the number of workers. Let's bump this right up to about as high as we can possibly go. And then let's see if we can get everything moved out of there. Okay, I think we might have just done it. I think we might have just done it, folks. I will have a little look at the market, uh... At the market offers in just a second. Quality received. Quality satisfactory. That is what I'm talking about. 168,000 bucks in the bank. Don't mind if I do video game. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Okay, let's also get some more portable fireplaces. Uh, I mean, this is all set up already. So I think I can just straight away order this. Uh, yep, get that executed as well. Grand. Let's get that all sorted. Uh, let's reduce that down to a much more reasonable number of workers. Five workers seems entirely reasonable. Uh, we still need, we still need just a tiny, tinsy, weeny little bit more research, research pointage, I should say. Okay, client relations with Inco Inc have yet to improve. That needs to be a priority. Okay, let's go into plots and do what we can with money. I mean. I still think I want to get a robot assembly room. I'm pretty ha I was pretty happy with the robot assembly room that we had last time. Um, that was, I think, honestly, really, really good. So let's get this. Sure, get this. It's only costs only costs six grand. That's fine. Uh, and let's let's plan a robot assembly room in this area. Okay. Yes, I think that that's a great idea. 
That's a great idea, Potato, he says, talking to himself. I tell you what's really irritating, though, this blooming plant that keeps on getting in my way. Right, this is a very, very bad financial decision, and you should never you should never make a financial decision based on how much a potted plant annoys you. But in this circumstance, I'm going to buy this plot so that I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. I mean, we're going to buy it anyway. Let's let's be real. It's not like I'm not like I'm not doing anything. I, it's not like I'm doing something that I would uh, would normally not do. I absolutely am. Okay, let me see. I want to make a room. I want to make a room that is that is large. In fact, I want to make our largest room. So what have we got down here? So three three assembly desks take up 10.5 meters of space. So I think we want I think we want about yeah, 14 14 God, To be honest, another room this size would be quite good. 15 by 15. A 15 by 15 room would be would be pretty adequate to be honest, I think. Yeah, because that means that we can get three desks up and down and then three desks across. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we're after. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a wall here. I'm going to demolish this wall here. There we go. Get that sorted. Uh, or not, I guess, as the case may be. There's a bit of a problem there. Not sure quite why. There we go, yeah, bulldoze this, and I'm still not allowed to do that. Okay, all right, not sure why that's the case, but that's okay. Let's um, let's just go ahead and build a 15 by 15 room. Yep. Yeah, I think that that's what we're after. And then I think what we want to do is we want to stick a door in from the staff room. I mean, the staff room is a great place to stick doors because we don't actually need to worry too much about. Oh, this is this is going to be a, this is going to be a real problem. This is going to be a real old-fashioned problem if we can't get this sorted. Can I demolish bulldozer this wall? Can I bulldoze that wall. Okay, I can't bulldoze this wall, apparently. Hold on. How do I get rid of this? Build that. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so... It's not super ideal. Take that up. Uh, hold on, bulldoze this. Okay, I mean, that works. That absolutely works. Let's let's get that ordered for now. So that should just extend the room slightly, and then what we'll do is we'll just even this out with, with a brand new wall once this wall's been demolished in its current place. Uh, kitchen multi tools, by the way, is one of the market products that I want to pack out. Drawers, drawers are another one. Although, Blumenek, there are so many products on the market, and all of them require a ridiculously large number of goods. Portable fireplaces, honestly, that's probably what we should do. Give me like 60 portable fireplaces. Sure, give me 60 portable fireplaces. That seems entirely reasonable. Okay, and then, as I said, I'm just gonna close that wall up over there, which I am absolutely not allowed to do, apparently. Nope, that is, that is strictly prohibited. Right, maybe we'll wait until it's all been constructed. Ah, so it's being constructed as a break room. Which is okay, I guess. That's fine. We'll put a wall in. We'll see if we can put a wall in afterwards. I very much hope we're able to. Okay, what machine is making that noise? Is it that one? I guess so. I guess it must be you. No, it's you. There we go. Get that repaired. Okay, King Barbecue is looking pretty good. It's looking fine. Uh, the amount of break rooms that we have, that's also looking fine. Yeah, I wonder what we're going to put in this room. Maybe this could be the robot testing area? The robot testing station? Oh, I think that that would actually work... ...pretty darn well, to be honest. Three robot testing stations? At minimum? 
In fact, we could probably have more robot testing stations than that. Uh, let's get a... In fact, I've got a billboard, don't I? Somewhere? Assembly station, assembly station, billboard. I knew I had a billboard somewhere. It pays to be cheap. It pays to be cheap. Okay, get that ordered. Get, uh... How much did that set me back? I wasn't even paying attention. That was probably a little bit too much, actually. Right, get that over there. Set that to supply that billboard. That billboard. Bish, bash, bosh. Thank you very much. Sorted. Are my workers done yet? This does count as a huge room. And in fact, it is a huge room. What's going on? Don't be a terrible little contract that I'm not going to want to do. It's a terrible little contract that I'm absolutely not interested in doing. It's just not worth it. I mean, maybe they are the most worth it in terms of, you know, the best contracts to do per hour invested. Okay, there we go. Get that constructed. Great. Nice. Okay, so the break room has been contained, and we now just have one huge room, which makes everyone unhappy. I get it. Okay. Right. Get that ordered. We're gonna need a doubler in this room. We're gonna need a trophy. Swikea trophy. Right, get that ordered, get that set up. And we're also gonna need a arcade machine in this room here. Nice. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay, we've dipped down below 100,000 bucks. Under normal circumstances, I would say that's not too bad. But under these current circumstances where I talked about wanting to save more money, it's not exactly ideal. Not exactly ideal. Okay. As it just so happens, I do have a bunch of assembly stations, which I'm totally going to deploy out before I order any more in. Okay. There we go. That's the kitchen multi-tools, by the way, which are which are ready. Uh, let me plan out a bunch more of these. Let me order, I don't know, 15 more, just so that we can max the market out, as I've already talked about. Okay. And then let's go and sort out not woodworking station, assembly station. Ah, uh, and the door is just a fraction too close. That's irritating. Yes, 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 yes. Everyone is going to freak out about that. Okay, do that. Get a door in. Cons uh oh. Okay, this is this is this is a, this is a problem. Okay, give me a door. Like there, sure. Give me a door right over there, cool. Maybe we just leave it as a single doorway? There we go, leave it as a single doorway then, I guess. That will allow us to, to get some more assembly stations. Okay, so assembly stations up against the wall over here. One, two, three. It's pretty much going to be the exact same setup that I had. The exact same setup that I had uh, in the last factory. The machine exploded. Okay, can I? Yeah, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can actually make this work a little bit better than it, than it did in the last factory. So, a setup like this would be pretty good. Yeah. So if we have a bunch of small shelves, then we can kind of keep a, a slimmer profile here. Yeah, I actually don't mind that. I actually don't mind that at all. Okay, are we going to be able to fit the, the desks in here? I doubt it. I doubt it. At this thickness, I absolutely doubt this. That one was placed slightly incorrectly. How much... How much larger would I need to make this room? Excuse me? There we go. Not much larger. Okay. I mean, I want to plan this out as, as, as best as I can before we... Before we go. Um, I mean, it could do with being a couple of rows... A couple of rows wider, to be honest. It really could. Okay. Let me... Let me get this moved across here. Let me get this moved across there. Yeah. And let me get that moved across there. Move across by one. OK. 
Okay. Yep. No. Come on. There we go. Okay. I want a gap of two. I want a gap of two between every, like, station. Right? Nice. Nice. So, we're gonna need to increase this by three squares. Okay, so one to account for the, the red squares highlighted, and then two more. Okay, so that's great. So one, two, three, right? So it's going to need to be... It's going to need to be as wide as... As wide as that. So we need to increase by... By two meters. Okay, so we need to increase by two meters, because, of course, one meter of the new area that we build is going to be wall. Okay. Right, which is a problem, because we've got this area, and we can't actually buy this area, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, we can buy this area. Okay. Buy it, get it sorted. Okay, so that should immediately make this entire area, uh, or this entire workshop buildable. Okay, so this is the most, the most ambitious that we've got so far. Okay. Get this ordered. Yep, it's a big expansion, I know, and also it's a total mess at the moment, and it did cost 40 grand. That's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal. I get it. However, it will be worth it. It will absolutely be worth it. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We're still gonna need a bunch more stuff, don't worry, I've not forgotten. Okay. Just let's hope, beyond hope, that this, that this ends up working. Right, get that boxed up. Let's get that boxed up. In fact, get everything boxed up that's not currently needed. Yeah, just stick it in storage for now. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's those shelves. Wonderful. Let's get the next row of shelves into place. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And that's obstructed by a pesky box. But that will be moved fairly soon. Alright. Get this finished please as well, chaps. Am I going to manage this portable fireplace? Am I going to have the opportunity to delay all incoming traffic by 24 hours? I certainly hope so. If not, I might be in trouble. King Barbecue's almost done though, and that's going to net us 28 grand or something ludicrous. It's going to be quite a lot of cash. Okay. So that goes there. That's going to go there. Yep, perfect. And then... Yeah, it's better to have spacers, I think. And then let's start assembling this section of desks over here. Nice. Okay, and we can start putting together some more assembly stations round the back of here and some more assembly stations do we have any more small shelves i do believe we should have a small shelf for somewhere right get that repaired it's a little bit chaotic at the moment and you did catch on fire it's an occupational hazard that is it's it, that, that 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 is not included in your health insurance I'm afraid. Sorry to report. That's just life. Okay, this needs to all be classified as a very specific zone. Also, we need to sort out billboards for these... For these desks. These assembly stations, that is. Cool. Assembly station. Where is a small shelf? Assembly station... I not have a single small shelf? Oh my goodness, my export area is crammed. Absolutely crammed with junk. Where did that small shelf go? I'm sure that... Oh, maybe maybe I didn't have any more small shelves. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so a gap of two... A gap of two... Two is the magic number for this build, apparently. Is this going to work? I don't know. But the great thing is, is that if it doesn't work, all that we do is just disassemble it and... Um, Put it all back together. That's a gap of three. That's a gap of three. Okay, I did the I did the bad maths. 
the maths the maths was wrong oh that's irritating that's deeply irritating can I can I actually do that okay will that actually make a difference I think it I think it straight up will yeah okay right let's get that ordered I mean that is that is a, a colossal waste of money because I overbuilt and so now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to accommodate for that overbuilding but that's fine these things happen you know I want to get this area looking as perfect as it possibly can be skis by the way let's get some skis sure uh, get that all ordered grand I swear I must be done with with barbecues by now I've been building barbecues for what feels like forever. It's an assembly station. Let's get that down over here. Nice. Yep. And... Okay, I can't do anything about that for a little bit. Assembly station. I do have one last assembly station, which is perfect. Let's bring that over here. Just get that assembled anywhere. And eventually we'll move it across. Okay, then this needs to be zoned. I mean, this has cost me a ridiculous amount of money. Truly a ridiculous amount of money. I'm kind of embarrassed, actually, at how much money it's cost me. Okay. So that needs to be moved up there on a temporary basis. Where are these workers to, to take apart this wall? Oh, finally they've arrived. Great. Okay, let's get uh, let's get all these fireplaces delivered. I haven't made the portable fireplaces yet, unfortunately. Still making my way through them, although it feels like we're pretty close. I don't know if there's anything that needs to be done though. Uh, some forming. There is a little bit of forming to be done. Okay, we should probably get another form press. I'll do that later. Okay. Get the wall built, and then we can talk specifics of the robot room. Great. Fantastic. That's 28 grand. That was a much-needed cash injection, that's for sure. Portable fireplaces, not going to get completed, but um, but that's okay. We're already maxed out with Crazy Steve as is. This wasn't what we agreed on. Yada, yada, yada. You expected better from me. I get it. Okay, fine. That's, that's the price I'm willing to pay. Occasional... Occasionally, failure is uh, is not the end of the world. We can cope with it. Okay, that's good. So that's everything moved into its proper location. Let's have billboards up against the wall. How cool would that be? I mean, not that cool, but it seems pretty cool. Okay, get those assembly stations moved. Billboard number one. Billboard number two. Right, four billboards ordered now that we've ordered them. We can get them all queued up. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is great. This is really, really good. Okay, and then we're going to need a zone, which I'm just going to leave as a, as a sort of blank, empty zone right up there. Yep. Man, this feels professional. This this feels like I've learned something, you know? You know that you know that feeling that you have with a game sometimes and you're just like Darn dude, I've got this. I've got this. I feel like I know I know what's up. I know what's up. I've reached that point. I've reached I've reached spiritual video game enlightenment. Spiritual video game enlightenment, and it feels good. It feels real good. You know what else is good is that the portable fireplaces can be sold on the market hilariously, which means that that will go towards my uh, my saturation total. So all I need to do is produce enough kitchen multi-tool units, produce enough portable fireplaces, which I mean looks looks fine, right? It's not uh, it's not coming along super fast, but it's not exactly it's not exactly going slow. Okay, I take it back. It is actually going quite slow. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous how many sheets of, uh, of metal that we've got to get through. But that's okay. All right, so that's that. That's that. That's cool. Let's get... Um, in fact, let's just leave this. Let's just leave this as, as, as empty for now. This zone needs to be linked up to two billboards. 
there and there. This zone needs to be linked up to two billboards there and there. That is grand. I think now we are ready to make some robots. The only problem is... Will all of my sh machines be available to make robots? I uh, I don't actually know. Right, let's make metal robots. Metal robots straight from the get go seems like a good a good bet. Right, let's make them entirely metal. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, entirely metal. Make them on myself. And make as much with molding as we possibly can. Leg with joints. Yeah, there we go. Metal leg, metal leg. Metal body. Sure. Man, that dude looks adorable. Look at that. That's that's very cute. Okay. So metal is going to be... I mean, I guess comparatively expensive, but it means that it's going to be strong. It means that it's going to be very stylish, and it means that it's got a high robotude, which is, which is really, really great. Uh, we should have all of the processes needed. All of the molding can be done. Molding is something which we are very forward thinking about. We got a heck of a lot of heck of a lot of good molders. We're gonna definitely need to get some more sheet metal. We're definitely gonna need to get some more metal extrusion. We're definitely gonna need to get some more metal form pressing. Yeah, I mean we are swiftly turning into what is a primarily metal based workshop. Nice. And nice. Okay, now let's get uh, let's get this set up. So in the assembly station, we got that there. We've got that there. We've got that and that's done there. And that that and that all done over here. Okay. Let's get the extrusion sorted. Okay, metal extrusion, maybe we don't actually need that much of, but um, but everything else we kind of do. Batch production, do I want to batch produce? I don't think I do, actually. I think it's going to go quicker if we don't batch produce, because otherwise we're going to have to change out a bunch of molds in the, uh, in the small forges. Speaking of small forges, I would actually like to get some more. Can I get some more small forges? In fact, I'd like to expand the room by just, like, one single block. Can I do that? Yeah, allow me to do just that, please, video game. Right, there's a very funky way of doing this. There's a very funky way of doing this. Yeah, do that, and then... Delete that there. Perfect. Okay. Nice. So that's gonna allow us to get one more small metal refinery. Uh, I've still got loads and loads of sheet metal to, to go through. I needed to get another form press, didn't I? Yep, let me get another form press. Let me get another form press right now. Okay. Where is it? Form press. Yep. Move that over there. And I can't move that over there. But I can move it over there. Get it ordered. Get this moved. Great. That's another form press. Perfect. What were what were the other things that we needed to speed up? Sheet metal. Sheet metal is definitely something that I can do as well. Uh, where would I like to put the board for that, though? Sure. Stick it over there. Yeah, this area is a little bit of a mess at the moment. But it'll be fixed. It'll be fixed soon. I mean, it certainly doesn't... It doesn't feel slow. It feels it feels pretty good actually. It feels pretty good. Okay, give me a sheet machine. Oh my goodness, that works out. That works out perfectly. Right, I'm gonna order two sheet machines, perhaps against my better judgment. There we go. And the metal form press. Right, I mean the billboard the billboard management, which to be honest is a is a skill all in of itself. Uh, needs to be needs to be worked on, that's for sure. It doesn't exactly look great. But that's fine. It's a price that I'm willing to pay. Messy billboards. You know what they say. A messy home is a happy home. I don't know if they say that. But if they don't, then they should. A messy... A messily managed billboard... Situation is a... 
is a is a good situation. That is a good factory. That is a good workshop. I don't know. Make up your own saying. Leave it in the comments and let me know. Okay. Uh, this room is a little bit unhappy. The mood is a little bit negative. That's because... That's because we ain't got no... We ain't got no arcade machine. And that will sort things right out. Wonderful. Okay, are we making robots yet? We should be. We should be making robots. Where is the... Where's the construction chappy? Oh, he's actually on site already. Okay, great. Well, that should allow us to get three more, I think. Three more small forges. I know that we will be upgrading to clonk forges at some point. But it's not going to be for a significant period of time. Okay. So, first things first. Let's get the shelf moved to back there. Let's get the zone moved to back there as well. Wonderful. Let's get the small forge. Oh, we can move the small forge up into the corner. Do I want to do that, though? Not entirely sold on it, but... I guess... I guess I'll do it. Sure. Okay, small forge is moved up. Then let's get you moved up. There we go. Chop, chop. There we go. Let's get you moved up, and then we can do your repair. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't actually matter where the small forge goes because it has a it has a square footprint anyway which I didn't fully appreciate there we go good stuff and then we're going to order one more small forge just kidding we're going to order three more small forges I thought hold on I thought I had to extend the building by one in order to make it fit. Alright, well, whatever, I guess. Let's get that moved out over there. And that moved right over there. Alright, cool. Let's take that down in size, move this billboard around, stick that in the corner. No reason to have it that size here. Mood is negative in this room. Let's get that thing disassembled, and let's get a arcade cabinet moved in. Okay. All right, that's feeling that's feeling a heck of a lot more fluid. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, billboard. We're gonna have to equip a whole bunch more small forges. That's grand. Okay, let's see if this actually works. Okay, the happiness in this room should be positive now, which is wonderful. Robot assembly area. I mean, we are busy as a factory. We are very very busy at the moment. I don't even know if I'm going to finish these barrel bots. I might not. I might not. And that does kind of worry me a little bit. But that's okay. We're making our way through the portable fireplaces. My focus now is, is getting the achievement. Getting the saturation. The market saturation for both products. That's definitely what I'm interested in. We're probably going to hit uh, next level. Once we, once we get all these products dispatched. So that'd be good to do. Right. How's the list of activities looking? Fairly long, to be honest. Fairly long. But not as long as it has, uh, as it once was. Okay, so that should be all of the progress, uh, the, 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 all of the components for the box bots all sorted. So the box bots should just need, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more forging to be done, as we can see over here. A little bit more, what do we need? A little bit more cutting, a little bit more, a little bit more stuff. Okay, so it's just a little bit more form pressing. Oh, speak of form pressing. Every time I move stuff around here, I should, I should carefully readjust the, uh, the zones where people put stuff. There we go. Cool. Okay, we got 47, 47, 47 of these portable fireplaces plus another... Uh, we got 52, 52 fireplaces. We can actually saturate the market with that. We can't saturate the market in, in kitchen multi-tools, unfortunately. Not yet. And that lathe caught fire. Disappointing. I expected better from you, lathe. But that's fine. Okay, it may look like we're not making much progress on the barrel bots. And that's because that is a...
totally accurate characterization of where we are with the barrel bots. Okay, new market cycle. How many how many kitchen multi tools do we need to get sorted? 60, 65 portable fireplaces? Really? Really? Okay, well, actually, we will be able to hit 65 as soon as these last three portable fireplaces are done. Perfect. 50. 50 kitchen multi tools. I'm up to 41. We're going to make about 55. Okay, I think this cycle, this cycle is the cycle when we get that achievement. We can get the achievement that we want to get, which will give us. Uh, which will give us another another notch. Another notch on our belt on the process towards getting 64. How many? Sorry. How many? 65. I needed 65. Oh, no. We need one more. Yeah, one more. One more is being, being made right now. Yeah, so that's going to be another notch on our belt towards the gold, completing the gold milestone goals, which is great. We don't have any specialists yet. How crazy is that? I feel like this factory is super, super efficient. I say super efficient. That's a, a maybe a mischaracterization of, of the situation. Uh, I feel like it's pretty efficient. Okay, I'm going to delay by a day. That will allow me to finish the skis almost certainly. Uh, but more importantly, it'll allow me to more likely finish the barrel bots up and, uh, up and whatnot. Yeah, but as I say, the, the priority for today is saturating the market for two medium-sized products. And that needs to be completed within this market cycle, which means the kitchen multi-tool needs to be finished. Needs to be finished within this market cycle. There is no... There is no time to delay. Skis also look like they're going to be finished within the, the brand new time scale, which is great. And the kitchen multi-tool as well is looking, is looking pretty darn good at the... At the moment as well. 50 units for the kitchen multi-tool. Okay, let's just get these 50 units delivered. Let's get those 65 delivered. Fantastic. Okay, so first of all, I level up. Great stuff right there. Uh, I also complete the milestone, simultaneously saturate the market for two medium or advanced products. That's pretty darn good. Uh, it's going to be a lot of loading work, I'm afraid, chaps. So... Good luck with that. Also, I'm going to make, uh, you know, a massive amount of money, which is obviously quite nice. And we, we got some research points, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to get the loading bay. I'm absolutely going to get the loading bay. That's what, I, uh, that's what I'm after. It's very much what I'm after. And then, 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 then. Refresh and renew all general market offers. Honestly, maybe. Maybe. Alternatively. Increase the amount of deliverables in each market by 100% for basic, 50% for medium, 25% for advanced. Enable experience to be upgraded to super haulers. I think we're going to go for market expansion. Now, this is a little bit of a strange choice because in the last playthrough, I sort of got the... Uh, I sort of got most of the most of the mass production research and didn't really pay attention to it. I really focused on the premium stuff and the premium tech tree. With this... It's going to be a real opportunity to deliver way more stuff to the market. Look, 98 units now. So I'm going to try and pump out a whole bunch of basic stuff, if if possible. Hats, for example. Fancy hats. That is that is what I'm all about. And also, super haulers. I want to get super haulers. Okay. We've got... Oh, no. Now we can actually... Now we can totally deliver more, more kitchen multi-tools. Because, of course... Because of course we're able to. Because we expanded the market. That's wonderful. Okay, the price is only going to drop from here. So let's just get it all get it all out the door. Get it all sorted. Get one more single multi-tool built. Please. There we go. Grand. Get it delivered. And then just wait for the money to pour in, really. I think. Uh, sell that plant. I don't really want any of these big footprint plants around. Yeah, so get that away. Barrel bots, nice. We've caught up with that. Skis, we're just about to finish as well. That's fantastic. Okay, now. Now we are in a point, or now we are at a point, should I say, where we can actually totally, totally, totally get these uh, get these loading bays. Now, I want to get two loading bays over here. I want to get two loading bays. These are going to be two, two loading bays, which should allow us to theoretically... Do I want to move you across here? Yeah, I actually do. Okay, move that across there. Right? And these are going to be export loading bays. Solely export loading bays. Right? And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand... What's this? Trucker is stressed and will soon start 
chucking cargo. But you're not... You're delivering, aren't you? There we go. Get 10 people... 10 people assigned. I guess. Get more people assigned. There we go. Get 30 people assigned. Takes a village to load a vehicle, apparently. Anyway, uh, get that sorted, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out right over here. And then this entire area is going to become our storeroom. Okay. Nice. Uh, hold up. Can I put a door in? I'll put a door in over there. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It allows us to get sort of a little bit closer to the... A little bit closer to the loading bays. That's fine. Okay, so do that. That'll be good. We've got another truck. The truck that has got the loading bays in. Great, we're on 68,000 bucks. Don't mind if I do. That's really, really nice. And then finally, 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 we can get rid of this export zone that I've had up here for the longest time. And for the longest time, I've said, hey, this is just a temporary export bay. It's not actually there for... It's not actually there for forever. But it has been like that for like five episodes. I mean, what are we, five five episodes in at the moment? I mean, we're five episodes in, and it feels it feels like we're way more... We're way more advanced. We're way, we're way, way, way more advanced than, uh, than where we were, I think, at, at the... At the fifth episode in the last series, that's for sure. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling very, very good about this. Okay, so beta, gamma, loading bays, all sorted. Let's get this moved down here. Yep. There we go. Zones cannot be placed outside. Whatever. All right, just like that. And then I think that we can either demolish this wall or stick in a door of our own. Over, over here. Nice! We leveled up with bros and biceps. Fantastic. That was not uh, something that I was expecting, but it's a nice little bonus. We got one, one research point. That's fine. Okay, let's take on some more contracts. We got a whole heck of a lot of people that are currently free. What do we need to do? Uh, deliver more than 50 advanced products? Well, I think this is a great opportunity to start building some, some advanced products. Okay, let's build 40 units of this, or, I don't know, 30 units, 30 units of advanced king barbecues. Sure, let's do it. Okay, sheet metal, that's assigned to the billboards. So everything is billboarded, everything looks fine. I think, I think that we should be able to make these barbecues reasonably quickly. 26,000 profit is, is very, very nice indeed. Okay, so this is going to be, as I've, as I've said, the export and storage area. As soon as the chaps get done building the room, we can expand that out fully. And that means also that we can now have a storage room over the entirety of that room. There's no, there's no need to merge these rooms into one, as far as I'm concerned. We can keep them, we can keep them separate. That's priority four. That's priority four as well. That's great. Okay. All right, so as long as we get these barrel bots done, then I'm not going to have any issues, I don't think. We have 17 workstations that are currently free, which means that we need more employees. We absolutely do need more employees. I tell you what, this is a this is a nice this is a nice robot workshop. This is a very very nice workshop. Yeah, I like it a lot. We can definitely handle more capacity on here though. For sure. And Maybe, maybe that means that we could look at some cat, uh, some cat mix. I do kind of want to make a cat mix, not for any, not for any reason other than it would be cool as all heck. Why don't we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. Okay. Uh, molding. Yep. Okay. Strength is not high enough, unfortunately. Can I increase that? No. Can't increase the strength by just a little bit, can I? I can. I can make that metal. Okay, make the legs metal. I guess. Yeah, make the legs metal. 
Oh, boy. Okay, this is actually going to be a little bit more challenging than I anticipated. Right. Do that. Do that. And then just make this out of... Make this out of metal. Okay, so either the chassis or the... The chassis of the legs needed to be made out of metal for strength reasons. Okay. Cool. Uh, yep. I think we'll be just fine, though. There we go. And now we just need to make sure that we nail the style. Uh, sure. Sure. In fact, you know what? Make that that. And that that. Okay. Nice. So that should be... I mean, that's perfectly adequate, actually. That's probably just about as cheap as we can really make it. Unfortunately, only two bits of plastic injection molding. Uh, I was kind of hoping that maybe we could take a little bit more advantage of all of the plastic infrastructure that we'd built up. But if not, then I guess I guess that's fine. We have a lot of metal forging to do. Or a lot of metal molding to be, do to be doing. We do the molding in the forges. Doesn't sound like it should work, but it, it does actually work. Okay, welding. We do have a lot of welding as well. Okay. A lot of welding. Not entirely convinced that we're going to be able to maintain the pace of welding that we need to maintain, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll chance it. See how it goes. Uh, and then... Assembly can all be done on these desks over here. Because I think that that's probably the, the least busy assembly station. And then the welding can be done right over there. Cool. All right. How many how many of these can I make? How many of these do I want to make? Well, let's batch produce them. Let's batch produce them and let's make like 20. So we can sell them in lots of five. Not a huge amount of profit on these. 10,000 for making 20 fairly complex robots. Although, in fairness, they don't have to be robot tested. They don't have to be done. They don't have to be tested at a robot testing station. I don't know if that's really a positive or a negative. I guess maybe a bit of a a bit of a positive. Okay. This trucker is getting stressed and is starting to chuck stuff. Honestly, that's totally fine. 30 workers is a, a complete overkill. Let's tone that right down to 10. Uh, and then if we've got these, yeah, if we've got these loading bays set up, then that can be a export only, export only. Wonderful, and then this can be an import only. Okay, great. Great. So all of our exports should be moved over here. It's literally as simple as that. Oh my god. This is this is why I didn't want to import the resources. Okay. Right, so it looks like we've imported all of the resources to the wrong location. This is all of the cat mech resources that are being chucked out of the back here. And that looks like pretty much all of the cat mech resources, to be honest. Still going. Still going strong. Wow. That's, that's, that is incredible. Right, pick up at beta. In fact, you know what? Auto. It doesn't actually matter where it gets picked up. That's fine. Uh, let's bump that up to 10 assigned workers, 10 assigned workers as well. Grand. Okay. King barbecues. King barbecues are now my 100% focus. And you know what? You know what we're going to need? We're going to need a heck of a lot more employees. That's for sure. We're at 32 out of 50. And we can, we can store more. We can store more. We definitely need more haulers. And if we don't need more haulers, we need super haulers. Which shouldn't be too difficult to do. 27 grand, that's very, very nice indeed. Inco Inc, that's half of Inco Inc's, half of Inco Inc's uh, first level, which is nice. Let's see if we can try and progress to the next market cycle. That too would be very, very nice. I tell you what though, King Barbecues honestly shouldn't take that long. Right, rats, flipping, flipping rats. It always, it's always rats. And it's not always rats. That's a, that's a total exaggeration. There we go. The sound that they make as well is horrible. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Oof. Yep. 
Yeah, all right. Ah, so close. There we go. Okay, 20 out of 24 from a single sedentary position. And then I just missed two more. This is why this is why this is a strategy game channel and not an FPS game channel. If you ever wondered, now you know. You just you did a drive a drive by run by. It's deeply infuriating when that happens. Come on. There we go. 22. Right, we're the last ones. They're up over here. Right. You move the cannon over there. Okay, good. Oh, come on. Right, one. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was remarkably quick, and actually, I am surprised that we managed to do that as quickly as we did. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Okay, you know what I could do? There's a whole bunch of metal sticking around over there. I think what I want to do is I want to, well, first of all, ditch this work pile right there. And then I would like to set up uh, some proper some proper storage over here. Get that plant pot disassembled. Yeah, get that plant pot disassembled. Get this small shelf disassembled. And let's uh, let's set up a proper storage solution. Okay. Can the workboard be moved outside? No, unfortunately not. All right, move that over there. The workboard, billboard, you get the picture. You're picking up what I'm putting down, I'm sure. Okay, someone shift this, someone shift this potted plant. In fact, just sell the potted plant. It's of such little concern to me that I don't even care about it. Okay. Get two of these ordered. Maybe more than two in a little bit. Okay, nice. And let's shift this. Zones must not overlap. Ah, right. Well, that's all right then. Because that's what I'm going to do. Right. This is going to this is going to end up being a little bit janky uh, because I've moved the zone before I've moved all of the product on the the shelf. But whatever. I can live with it. I can live with it. All right, that's good. Right. Well, we're going to need to get specialists. We're definitely going to need to get specialists so that we can get to the next level. Uh, delivering more than 50 advanced products as well is probably going to be done. In fact, we're delivering 50 with just the King Barbecue and the Cat Mech. So after we get done with that, then we should be we should be absolutely golden. That's totally fine. What is this? What's this pile of stuff? Cat sand? Heck is cat sand? That's ridiculous. That's ludicrous. I don't even... I, I, like, cat sand is stuff that cats go to the toilet in? Why would I need or care about that? You got the best idea for a summer product, and it's it's absolutely terrible. It's always terrible, because you always have the same ideas, Steve. And they're always terrible. They're always garbage ideas. Okay. Great. Get the... Get that bench disassembled. Fantastic. Let's move this... Right over there, grand. Let's tighten up the the zone. Yep, tighten up the zone and get everything moved across. Perfect. All right. All right, all right, all right. There's a fire. Get that repaired, please. Don't explode. Yeah, repair planned. Yes, please. I do, I do actually want technicians. Uh, technicians appear on the premium tech tree, I believe. They're over here? Yeah. Technicians, yeah. Experienced haulers to upgrade to technicians. Technicians repair stuff during their downtime. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. Also, you know what I haven't taken on? I haven't taken on Inco Inc.'s drone contracts. Let me take on Inco Inc.'s drone contracts right now. And then we can, we can call it there, I think. There we go. So I'm going to take on both of his drone contracts. Why? I don't know. I'm just feeling optimistic. 
a bit of metal, a bit of wood, a bit of wood extrusion, metal extrusion even, wood extrusion. Is that, can you extrude a piece of wood? I don't think you technically can. Okay, that billboard right there. That right there, nice. Okay, cool. Let's get this set up nice and quickly. Okay, foam injection might be a little bit of a problem. I mean, I've got three foam injection machines. I actually thought that we would have more of a foam injection, a demand for foam injection stuff. But so far, we've not really, not really had to worry about that, to be honest. Right, assembly. Let's do the assembly, obviously, in the robot room. Assembly of these bits. That can be done over here. And that can be done over there. Grand. So that means that the cat mech can be assembled on those three benches, which I think is completely adequate. Right, let's get that ordered. This is going to be imported to Alpha because that's the only place that it can be imported to. Manufacturing batches. I mean, honestly, no. I'd rather you didn't since we're making such a small quantity. I'd rather just, uh, I'd rather just straight up make them. Okay, this is a ridiculous backlog that we've got over here. So that's going to take us a while to get through. Maybe we only accept one. Yeah, I think we're only going to accept one of Inco Inc's contracts at the moment. I have no doubt that my dudes will be able to accomplish what they need to accomplish, but uh, it's going to take a while. Right, well, ladies and gents, we're going to finish this episode up here. We're going to get some more contracts. We're going to get some more contracts. We're going to get some more people in the next episode, for sure. It's all going to happen, and it's all going to be fantastic. Ladies and gents, thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons over at patreon.com forward slash over potato. It's people like that that make videos like this possible and uh, and the support is greatly appreciated. I love playing Little Big Workshop and uh, and Patreon helps me meet the costs of living and providing content for, uh, for you guys. Right, uh, thanks for watching folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.